Hello, my wonderful friends. Meg is here on a beautiful day in Asha. Had to show you my new chair. It was so sweet. My parents got it for me for Easter and it is so comfortable. And take a look at this. It's got a little shelf for my books and a water. And then I moved it uh, to a different spot than my other chair. And it's just, just a gorgeous mountain vista. Uh, the lake, I don't think the camera really picking it up or oh, you can kind of see it right there but just a just a great little cozy reading spot I wanted to share with you guys no way check it out this thing rocks back and forth too much fun <laughs> and look at that view <laughs> so I'm up here today I'm reading Rilke and I'm reading, of course, Picture of Dorian Gray. I always take beautiful little passages out of that. Can I just read you a little Rilke? It just makes you feel so good on a perfect, beautiful day like this. This one is so sweet. It says, I would describe myself like a landscape. I've studied at length, in detail, like a word I'm coming to understand, like a picture I pour from at mealtime, like my mother's face, like a ship that carried me when the waters raged. I've been sitting in my chair for quite a while reading. It's so comfortable, but I decided to get up. I've been hiking some of the different little deer trails, having so much fun. I'm gonna hike over to my log where you walk out and get that beautiful lake view. Check it out guys, every year I pick my daughter, the little flowers that grow on the hill here. We call it the Ashley Bouquet. It's the first ones that come up. See the little delicate pink stripes? And the flowers are so beautiful. We used to take little vases and put these in. Such good memories. in my cozy chair reading some picture of Dorian Gray right now. Can I read you just a little bit? It says words, mere words, how terrible they were, how clear and vivid and cruel one could not escape from them. And yet what a subtle magic there was in them. They seemed to be able to give a plastic form to formless things and to have a music of their own as sweet as the viol or lute, mere words. Was there anything so real as words? Oh. And then the, you guys know this is one of my favorite. Lord Henry went out to the garden and found Dorian Gray burying his face in the great cool lilac blossoms, feverishly drinking in their perfume as if it had been wine. He came close to him and put his hand on his shoulder. You are quite right to do that, he murmured. Nothing can cure the soul but the senses, just as nothing can cure the senses but the soul. Oh, beautiful words on a beautiful day. Guys, I love, love, love you. Remember, life's a gift. Get out and make your own special magic moments. Love you.